Morning guys, it's day 11 here at the hilltop shop. So yesterday we finished off the uh, sheathing on the roof. So today what we're going to do is uh, prepare the roof for shingles. So we're going to get the roof edge put on around the whole outside, a white kind of angle piece that goes on the edge of the roof. Uh, paper the whole roof and maybe lift the shingles up there at the peak so it's ready to go. Let's get to work. Did you grab the, the bag of tools? putting the roof edge on so when you're going over the gable part right there you cut the face of that roof edge and when you're going around the corners of the building you cut the top end of the roof edge what? I think we only need two I know and then don't put them over the front yet there's just no room up there for me I like it's hard to clear these Oh, these are the three tabs, never mind. Yeah, you can put those on. Those are the ones that you've cut apart, they're already made. You know what I'm saying? And then the next load we'll throw something on, then we got some more. Is there any more? Just two? two? Yeah, probably. A lot. Oh, the paper they sent us lead in. Throw this one on. Is that the only one? Yeah. That one lifted up. One more. One, more. one more? Give me that one. So this is just normal marathon? That's just Cambridge, yeah, try it for So we modified the uh, bucket apparatus on the tractor to be able to fit shingles on it. So now we're throwing all the shingles up on the roof so that we don't have to hand bond them all and uh, we'll actually start roofing or putting the paper on in the next clip.
the product that we're rolling out here is called Ice and Water Shield. So the blue side of it, the top side, you can see there, it almost looks and feels like a pool lining. Uh, something you put on the inside of a pool. Uh, the underside has two layers of protective film on it. And when you peel it off, it's sort of sticky on that side, so it sticks to the roof. Uh, and what this does is it prevents ice damming. I'll explain a little bit more about what ice damming is in a different clip here. This ice and water shield only goes on the first row on the two eave sides. Ice dam is when the attic space in your building heats up so much that the roof deck or the sheathing on the roof heats up and in the winter time causes the snow on the roof to turn into ice. There's a picture of it here on screen so you can see the ice dam is formed and then it traps water behind it. So in the in the warmer days when the snow melts it traps water behind and because shingles and sheathing are not waterproof, they're just water resistant, they're meant to shed the water. So the water will eventually find its way down into your attic space, which can damage the insulation. And it can go even as far as going through the drywall in your house and get into the wall cavities of your house and just create a lot of damage. So that ice and water shield is meant to go at least as far up the roof deck so that you're past the wall plate of your house or the where the wall is of your house so it's got to go past the overhang and then into the part of the house on your roof deck and that protects against ice damming so that the water that builds up behind the ice dam won't penetrate through into your house it'll hit the ice and water shield and then go out underneath the shingles into the gutter Those little shingles that you've seen Joel installing in the last clip are called starter strips and so their purpose is just to cover the joint between two shingles as they go on the very first row so that the joint between two shingles has something behind it other than the ice and water shield. Joel in this time lapse installing the first layer of roof paper. This is actually called synthetic roof paper. Um, it's a little bit different than was used in the past called tar paper. This stuff is made with plastics, uh, nothing organic. The old stuff was made with tar or some version of that. Maybe it had asphalt in it. Um, this stuff is just the new standard. Uh, it's completely waterproof so if any water gets underneath the shingles for some reason it rolls out underneath the shingles similar to the ice and water shield in the previous clip you could see Joel and I working together on the shingles I was passing them to him while he was nailing them down unfortunately I had to go to a meeting this afternoon so he had to do some of the roofing on his own but I come back later on in the day and help him finish this side we get right up to the peak just a few cuts left And 
just like that I'm back from my meeting you can see Joel got quite a bit done he almost did half the roof on his own but things go way faster when you get two people so I'm gonna continue passing him the shingles and he's gonna keep nailing them down and we're gonna work together you'll see at the end by the end of the day we pretty much get the whole side done sorry about the wind in the next few clips here there was a storm brewing up that actually hit us after we got off the roof but uh, I tried to edit it out but it's still in there I'm just making an end cut on one of the shingles. Uh, those big scissors that I have are from Fiskars. I find them a lot easier to cut the shingles with than using something like a hook blade. So here's a better view of that synthetic roof paper I was talking about earlier. So you just take a hammer tacker, like basically it's a stapler that you hit like a hammer, and you just put a bunch of staples in it to hold it down. this time lapse you can see the uh, sky in the background getting darker and darker as that storm brews up so we're kind of trying to hustle here to get the last bits of shingles put on so that we can get off this roof and not get hit by lightning shot of the sky as we we're finishing up it doesn't look like much but you can tell when a storm is brewing up and we wanted to get the heck off the roof thanks for watching